How's it going, everybody? This is the College Jew. Uh, this is my first Let's Play of Dragon Warrior 4. Uh, I've been watching other Let's Players like uh, H.C. Bailey and uh, Chuga Conroy, and I uh, decided to join in on their little charade here. Uh, I know this game has been released for the DS uh, about three months ago in September, but I decided to give you guys a uh, look at what it used to be rather than. Uh, what it currently is. Now, the DS version, I like it just as much as this one, but this one just holds true to my heart because, I mean, I'll never forget playing it. I mean, it's my second favorite in the series. Dragon Warrior 3 is definitely my uh, first favorite, but. So I'm just putting my name in here. Uh, Jew. <laughs> I'll just call myself the Jew from now on. That's what everyone calls me. That's like put that when I'm like bowling and everything and it's just a funny name for me just because I'm so proud of being Jewish this is chapter one uh, Dragon Warrior 4 has a, four, a five chapter system each chapter being a little more complicated than the very first one this first one basically you're a soldier in this uh, castle of uh, Berlin and you've got some missing children and you know Honestly, their children, those children, pretty much really mad at their children are missing. So, as you can find out right there. So, not that much to do in this castle right now. He, the king and his, and the chancellor are like, come on, get to it. And there's some treasure in one of these drawers here. I forget which one. I think it was this one. I think you get a medical orb, no? Yeah. So you, those are going to be useful because Ragnar can't heal himself on his own. He's going to need items, so it's good to have the medical orbs there. You're going to want at least like two or three in your hand because you won't be able to heal yourself. This old man does something cool when you talk to him, but for some reason I can't talk to him. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why the control's bugging with me. But whatever. It's cool. So this is the town of uh, Berlin. Uh, there's not much to do here. Uh, basically what we're going to do is just grind to about level 3. Uh, and then leave to go to the town of Ismet. Uh, one thing you want to do here is go to the armor shop. Before you leave the town, get a leather shield. Uh, increases your defense power to 4. And you're gonna need it for the enemies around Burl and Dinismet. Right, so this is outside, this is the uh outworld the um overworld. Sign saying, Oh report the sighting of suspicious people. Or whatever. The enemies here are really simple, I mean not much going on here. These giant worms have about ten or eleven HP. Uh, they give up fairly good experience points and money for that, for the beginning point of the game. I mean, they're not much stronger than slimes, who are like the weakest, so they're not too horrible. These enemies are the ones that, uh, these are the most beneficial enemies, the dive rats. Uh, they have about 14 HP. They hit for quite a bit of damage. But what one thing they do is they uh, call for help. And basically, if you're lucky enough, they can keep calling for help and you can get a lot of experience points, a lot of money early on. I'm just checking out how much money I have here. Stag beetles. Not much going on. Dying one hit. I'm surprised we haven't encountered any slimes yet. I mean, usually those are the first ones you encounter in this area, but for some reason I haven't encountered any yet. Go figure, huh? Ragnar is just a powerhouse. I mean, the only thing you can do really is attack, but that's all you need to do. Oh, you gained a level. Strength and vitality are going to go up the most for Ragnar. 
no one, no, nothing else is really gonna go up. Alright, seven more dollars. Sorry if it's in a low quality. I'm just pointing out that he is excelling in strength and vitality there. Sorry if this is in low quality. I don't want anything to, Oh, there's some slimes. I don't want anything to lag or... Uh, I don't want to be uh, desynced or anything like that. So I'm uh, basically I'm walking over eggshells in this first video. Uh, I'm going to record a few other test videos. I'm not going to upload them, but I'm just going to see exactly how much I can pump up the quality in order to avoid... Uh, in order to avoid bad sync synchronizing, because I, I did a one video here, and it was just so badly synced that I just didn't. I'm not gonna continue with it. I'm probably gonna delete it. All right, so we're gonna be buying our weather shield right now. There you go. Now to equip stuff, it's very easy. Just go to the equip menu. There you go. 18 defense power. Those dive rats, the enemies who, were, who, who uh, did three damage to us previously, only gonna do like one or two. I don't know why it's always doing the pointing up when I'm hitting the taunt command. Oh, I gotta get that checked out. Look at that. And uh, just saving my game here. Oh, you can also uh, select the inform command, and uh, the guy tells you how much experience points you need. Uh, and I'm just gonna save it right now. I don't have really much else to do, and I uh, want this to upload pretty quickly. So, uh, if you liked it, uh, please subscribe. Uh, whoever else is watching, uh, see you.